chance for a shower tomorrow though, right? Just a slight chance, 10%. So most of us will be dry, but it's going to be very similar to what we've seen the last two days. Just one or two uh, isolated showers. Right now, Pinpoint Doppler nice and dry across the mountains. There are a few false returns showing uh, up, up in Wolf County. We'll take a look at Pinpoint Doppler right now. But uh, for the most part, we're dry. Now, that is actually uh, just a little bit of fog showing up in the radar. It's a little bit denser uh, up into uh, portions of the Kentucky River Valley. Temperatures right now, lower 70s, 73, Prestonsburg, Paintsville, 71, Hindman here in the Hazard, down in the Hyden and Whitesburg, 72, London, 70 into Barberville, 71, Williamsburg. And good evening, Somerset. You're checking in at 71 as well. High pressure in control of our weather right now. And this high pressure beginning to tap into a little bit of a southerly flow. Now what that's going to do for our weather in the next couple of days, increase the heat and the humidity. So get ready for some dense fog tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s. We'll be back to the 70s by 9 a.m. Now as we take into tomorrow afternoon, it's going to be a hot one down in the Cumberland Valley. 90 for your high in Monticello, 89 Whitley City in Williamsburg. 88 into London. Down near the Tennessee and Virginia borders, a decent chance of showers. We'll say about 20-30% down there, but for the overall region, it's just 10%. It's mainly going to be focused down by the border, and those thermometers are going to be on the high side in the Big Sandy as well, upper 80s. So uh, just be ready to deal with that heat and humidity, and watch out for those pop-up showers. Now that fog will slow you down on the morning commute a little bit, so plan an extra few minutes, but you folks know the drill. It's this typical weather this time of year. Sunny and humid at lunchtime, and as you go home in the afternoon, not one of those days to roll down the windows. Probably want to leave them up and crank the AC if you have it, uh, because it is definitely going to be on the hot side. Check out Future View. Just, you'll see it's going to be warm. Upper 60s in the morning. If it's upper 60s in the morning in September, you know it's going to be a hot day. Highs top out just shy of 90. You can see one or two little pop-up storms, nothing too major. It's a rinse and repeat forecast as we take you into Thursday. If you're going to be uh, doing any kind of yard work next couple of days, make sure to stay hydrated. It is going to be very, very hot and humid out there, even into the evenings. We won't cool back into the 70s until after uh, sunset in most instances. And the heat index in the next couple of days is going to feel like the low 90s. Check that out for Wednesday and Thursday. So just be ready to deal with some September sizzle. Now, as we go into the weekend, bumping that rain chance up to 20%. Uh, don't expect too many, but that is something to keep an eye on. I know we got a lot of football games going on uh, down in the Clay County area for the Clay County Bowl. Also, UK kicks off this weekend. I think most of those games uh, should go off without too many problems. Labor Day, a little bit better chance of rain, Tanner. I have the Appalachian Bowl two games Saturday, <laughs> and then Friday we have Pikeville at Paintsville. So yeah. a lot of football and outdoor activities on tap for this weekend. Yeah, and uh, just be ready to deal with the heat. All right, Shane, thanks. Coming up next in sports.